another new feature that you'll see in Zoom is in breakout rooms. So you can choose to go to breakout rooms and select a specific number of breakout rooms. You can assign the students manually or automatically, or you can allow participants to choose which room they join. You'll click Create. Once the users are assigned, you can open the breakout rooms. Previously, if you were in breakout rooms and you shared your screen, this would no longer be viewable to students. Now, however, if you share your screen or content with your students, you have a new option that says share to breakout rooms. So you'll select that option and click share and it will tell you that your screen will be shared in the main session and in all breakout rooms. Your video and audio will not be started will not be shared with breakout rooms and screens that others are sharing in the rooms will be stopped. Once you have concluded your breakout rooms, you can broadcast a message to all participants to let them know and then you can close all rooms. It will then give them a countdown timer to let them know that the breakout rooms will stop and close in um, one minute. Once the breakout rooms have ended, you can stop sharing your screen and close the breakout room tool.